Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So we have successfully queried the data and we are showing the all the product details both in the admin page and also the home page. And also the add to cart. So when we are trying to add the add the details in the add to cart, so the details are also getting successfully added in the database. So up to now this one is fine. So whatever the concept we have did is fine. <coughs> now it's time for us to see how we can update the data if i click on this edit data now we are getting an error so what we need to do here first we need to get those all the details which are with the product id to and we need to pre-populate those all the details in the form and after pre-populating that one the user will enter they will edit the details whatever he wants and after editing the details when he clicks on the update so we need to update that particular data in the database so let's try to do how we can do it <coughs> if you go here so product slash edit slash two so this is the uh, thing we need to check right let's go on to the router in the routing admin so product slash edit slash product id and this is the thing get edit product get edit product page now in this get edit product page we we cannot call this get product by id we need to call product dot find by primary key so let's try to use that one product dot so here product means so model dot find by pk and you will get dot then of product so in this product you can send this all the details into this one and you can catch this one catch error so here i can write console dot log of error that's it so first step is completed so i can remove this get product by id so now we are able to show all the product uh, uh, i am able to show that updated product details now if i try to go here and if i refresh this page we are able to get something uh, form method edit unable uh, read properties of null so okay let's go back let's refresh this one and i am clicking on the edit so still i am getting product dot id so let's see that whether we are able to get it up okay find by pk we need to add the product id right <coughs> So i have added this product id now let's see whether we are able to get the output or not if i click in this one so now we are able to update the all the details but here image is not getting updated why because in our db the column name is saved as image url whereas here we are trying to access this one through the image if we go into this add product.ejs file so here we are trying to use the image so here the, from the database we are getting image url we can update this one or otherwise we can change the column in, in that one directly now we are able to highlight the all the details if i go into this admin and whatever the product if i click here i am able to get all those details so i click here i am able to get all those details now it's time for us to update the details whenever the user tries to update here whatever the thing he wants he will update and we need to update it in the when i click on the edit product we need to update the same product details from the in the database so let's go into this one and product controller and here this is the post edit product page so we cannot use this update product by id so we got this all the product and here i can say that constant product id is equal to request dot product body dot product id i can add it like this so there are there are two methods which we can do it first i'll try to show you one method <clears throat> i can use something like product dot update i can use this update method and we can send this product details and what i can do so here we need to add a condition so where id is equal to product id that's it so when you get a response so dot then so here i can add this res dot read data products when it is got updated so you can read it to products or otherwise dot catch error and you can console.log of error you can do the console.log of error that's it so this is one way how we can write the data so product dot update product where id is equal to something like this so if i try to see the output i will click on this one so here i will change something and here also i'll trace something and here i'll write 123 and here also i'll trace something if i click on the edit product see here all the data has got updated so we are able to successfully update the product details 
now we can also update the product in a different way also in another way also we can do it so what is that other way is so we have all these product details first we will get this product dot find by find by pk primary key with the product id we need to pass the product id and we will get the single product okay so we will get a product so in this product what we need to do is so we got the product <clears throat> what i can do is product dot title is equal to so i can take this request dot body dot title so i can paste this one so we are updating the details all those details so here i can paste this one and i can do price so i'll update the price also and another one is description so i can i will update this description and here we will be having image so here will be image but here this place it is an image url so we are updating these all things now there is no need for us for this one and here what i can do is so this one also i can this and now what i can do is instead of this one i will do return product dot save so we can do the return product dot save and this one returns a promise and here again you can use a dot then and we can use it something like this and here after successfully saving i can redirect this one or otherwise i can use dot catch of error and i can do console.log of error that's it so we can also do another type of process like first first of all i am trying to get the details with that primary key after getting the details i am updating the details in the instance of the product which i am getting and i am trying to get uh, call the save so when i try to get call the save the sqlize will be smart enough to understand that okay i am uh, trying to update the details which i am trying to get it so it will update all the details which you are trying to get it and it will update those details and it will return a promise after writing the after returning the promise it will go to the next then so here i am redirecting this one to the products page if any if any error occurs it will go to the catch so this is a, this is the another way which we can do it now let's try to see the output so whether this one works or not if i click on the same thing as an edit so i will try to remove these all the things i will add only one and here also one and one and the first one also i will try to add something like this if i click on the edit product see here then also i am able to get the same output without any problem so this is how we will be updating the product details so this is how we will be updating the product details now you have understood the two ways of doing this one so we can use this product dot update method with which you can pass all the object which you are trying to update it with the column names as the proper as a key value key and the value as the value for that column name which you want to update it and here you need to provide a condition that where id is equal to product id so you need to pass this you need to must and should you need to pass this condition then only it will product will update only that product will update or otherwise all the products will be updated without any condition if you call this product thing whereas here the sql is smart enough to, it will be able to understand that okay he is uh, he is trying to update only for this product id so it will be able to update when you try to call the save method it will be able to update it so that is the reason i told you right so save method can be used for for both the insert and also for the update also we can use it for the, both the thing it will be smart enough and here also it will be smart enough that <clears throat> so here if you try to see in this one i will try to uh, edit this one and i will click on the leela okay so i am changing only one va one value and i am clicking on the edit product if you try to see here somewhere you will be able to see update products set title 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 something like this so here we are able to see this see this one now for example let's go into this one let's see that whether it will update or not edit and i am clicking on the edit product simply i am clicking on the edit product if you try to see here again so here it is trying to update update products title price updated only the updated it is trying to update it where id is equal to this one so previously it has to update title price description image url updated and all those things it is tied up so this one is smart enough to be able to understand that so what are the things to be updated so if nothing is uh, if no items are there to update means it will not update it so it is smart enough to happen so this is all about the product uh, updating the product details hope you understood about the updating of the data in the sqlize uh, in the mysql database using the sqlize both using the product.save and also the product.update if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you